So, I'm going to make a special video for my good friend Larry and anyone else who might find this useful. Just going to show you how to do a very simple analysis in Amos and also in SPSS, just to show you how to get things up and running. So after you've opened Amos, hopefully you know where your Amos file is, um, if there's something already up and running in it, go to File and New, if you want to create a new file. Now you need to load some data, click on the data and double click file name and let's see where did I put that data here it is I'm going to use the Sohana constructs hit OK now the variables are in here let's build a simple model where job satisfaction is our dependent variable and we've got some stress factors here that are our, that are our independent variables let's just use these three here role conflict um, work uncertainty and dead end job. Those are good. And I am going to connect them with these regression lines and covary them and create an error term. Now I'm going really fast. You can always slow down, pause, whatever you need. Um, I'm going to name the error term and I'm going to save the file. There we go. I'm going to call this Larry Demo. Sorry, Larry. And I uh, might as well just make it pretty. There we go. And then let's look at some options for running. If we have missing data, we need to estimate means and intercepts, but we do not have missing data for this, so we will not estimate means and intercepts. Go to the Output tab, check Standardized Estimates and Squared Multiple Correlations for this particular type of model, this structural model. For um, measurement models, we don't necessarily need these squared multiple correlations. <clears throat> and we might need other things. Anyway, save it again <clears throat> and run it. And here we go. Look at your out. Oh, wait, now let's click the up arrow. And I'll increase the size here so you can see we have pretty decent uh, betas, path loadings, regression weights, whatever you want to call them. Except for this one, work uncertainty is a negative 0.09. That's not very good. But we do have a nice R squared, 0.34. Let's go look at the output here to see if what is significant. Go to the estimates section. And here in this table, the regression weights table, we can see that role conflict on job satisfaction is significant and negative. So role conflict has a negative significant effect on job satisfaction. Whereas work, uncertain, work uncertainty does not have a significant effect because the p-value is greater than 0.05. Um, these three stars represent p-values of less than 0 0.001. If I want to copy this and put it into a Word document or something, I click just to the right of it here and select copy. And then I can just paste it into some Word document. Now to do this in SPSS, go open SPSS. There it is and there's nothing loaded so let's go find it let's see if I've used it recently recently used data yep there it is so HANA constructs I'm gonna open that up and bring it back down here and nope, don't save okay to do the same kind of analysis I'd go to analyze regression linear and select my dependent variable that was job satisfaction and my independent variables, uh, what were those? Something like um, work uncertainty, uh, role conflict, and resource demand gap. I think that was it. You can go through these options if you want. Um, there's nothing we really need for this kind of analysis uh, that's not already defaulted. So hit OK. And let's look at the results. Here's our, our, here's our R squared. Uh, 0.26, meh, 27, that's, that's all right. A little bit different from what we saw in Amos, but that's because I think I might be using different variables. Um, our ANOVA table here, this is the cumulative effect of all the predictors on the dependent variable. And it looks like the cumulative effect is significant at 0 0.001. And then you look at the coefficients table, and we can see the unique effects of the predictors. So resource demand gap has a um, an effect of negative 0.078 and this is not significant, not less than 0.05.
whereas the other two, work uncertainty and role conflict, have significant negative effects. So, role conflict. As role conflict increases, uh, job satisfaction decreases. And that's how you interpret it. If you'd like to copy one of these tables and put it into a Word document, you just, whoops, what did I do? I double clicked it by accident. Just right click um, the table and hit copy. And then you can paste it into your Word document. And that is it. I would hope it was helpful. Enjoy and good luck.